Sometimes it is just being in the right place at the right time. In March 1994, New Scientist kicked off its last word column asking readers for their everyday science questions. I happened to be in the eyeline of the boss, so he asked me to edit the new edition to the magazine. There are huge scientific questions. How did the universe form? Why is there only, as far as we know, life on Earth? And what the heck are we going to do about artificial intelligence? But this was not the remit of the last word column, which instead was devoted to everyday scientific trivia. We were frequently asked about farting, which gave inspiration to the book you are now listening to. Although, I hasten to add, there's a whole lot more in here too. My quest for knowledge and seemingly trivial facts has never dimmed. They can turn you into a pub bore, they can make you look half-decent at University Challenge, but it's impossible to ignore that gnawing, I wonder why. Perhaps you feel the same. For me, it's simply a way of looking at the world, mentally voicing a question, diving down the rabbit hole, and popping back up with the answer, plus another ten things you found while you were down there. From the internet, from friends, from observation, and from experimentation. The more obscure, the better. And then storing it all away. Some of it is never used. Most of it, I fear, is forgotten. But some of it creeps into my consciousness and stays. A huge accumulation of information with no egress. You should try living in my head. Does it hurt? Concerned friends ask. No, not really. But I can't rest until I have discovered the who, what, why, where. And it's been accumulating seemingly for eons.